these three people are joining forces in a unique enterprise for which they are perfectly suited, the planning of a murder. And strangely enough, if they do their job well, they will be handsomely rewarded. You see, the crimes they're planning will be part of their new motion picture, Straight Jacket. This is Robert Block, creator of Psycho, who conceives his stories of shock and suspense by thinking like a murderer, by identifying with the cunning, twisted mind of a psychotic, by becoming a killer. Oh, not literally, of course. There are laws, you know. This is William Castle, master of suspense, director of the motion picture Homicidal, whose formula for fear requires... A story so full of unexpected thrills and shocks and suspense that the audience has no chance to catch its breath between gasps. This is Joan Crawford, the star of Straight Jacket, Academy Award winner and one of the most popular film personalities in the world. Her subtle psychological and dramatic insights indicate that... Murder should be done with taste and style. Don't you agree? Let's proceed logically and make some plans. First, there's the problem of selecting the place. It should be a spot where murder can be committed without suspicion. How about the countryside? Somewhere far off the beaten track. Look at this desolate farm. A killer would be safe here. No one to spy or snoop. Even murderers are entitled to a little privacy. That, that windmill grinding away. That could drown out a scream, couldn't it? Now, where can we dispose of the victim's body? I hate untidiness. The barn. And those sheds. Delightful places to store things. There's a hog pen there. Is it true that hogs eat everything? Bob, really? Just a thought. Oh, look! A freezer shed. What an ideal place for putting away, uh, shall we say, cold cuts? Well, we've got the time, the place, and the disposition of the bodies taken care of. Now, let's consider selecting the weapon. A revolver. No. Mm -mm. That makes noise. A knife. Ordinary. Commonplace and too thin. We need something with body to it. Oh, look, an axe. Remember George Washington and the cherry tree? No noise. One clean blow. That's what I like. Cleanliness. Just the thing. No smart murderer should be without one. Now the final step. The last and most important ingredient in any murder. Selecting the victim. Who shall it be? Would it be bad taste to head off with our star? Ridiculous. It's just not done. Well, there's Uncle Bill and Aunt Emily. Nice, likable people. They own this farm. They trust everyone. It wouldn't be hard to set them up. Shall we uh, take a whack at it? How about their rich neighbors? Raymond Fields is so pompous. It would be great to chop him down to size. And Mrs. Fields. If she knew what we were planning for her, she'd go all to pieces. Their son Michael, an ambitious kid trying to get ahead. Maybe we could get his. What about his fiancée, Carol? A pretty face and a pretty body. It would be a crime to separate them. That's Leo Krauss and the hogs. Uh, Krauss is the one who needs a haircut. But in the freezer, you'd never be able to tell one from the other. Well, which one shall it be? Why only one? There could be two murders. Or three. Maybe more. Remember, Straightjacket is our picture. So we can plan as many killings as we like. Are you ready, gentlemen? See you later.